In this video, you'll hear two reasons why our healthcare system in Arkansas will not improve. First, the people who make decisions about our health care in Arkansas believe the health system is made of iron. Well, since I've been here, uh, and, and I'm, I guess, coming up on my 20th year here in Arkansas, I have put in front of you a number of times this iron triangle uh, that is really the challenge for our health and health care system. We want high-quality care that is accessible and that it also is affordable. And you can usually have two out of three, but getting three out of three is really, really tough. That's a metaphor. He doesn't really think it's made of iron, I'm pretty sure. But he's saying he cannot see a way to change it. The vision of our current deciders is bound by this imaginary triangle. Secondly, expert deciders in Arkansas believe the Tenth Amendment gives them power to make decisions about our health care system. This is this little pesky thing in our Constitution that causes us so much problems. When the Constitution was ratified, basically the states were concerned about the power of federal government. And so they said anything not delegated to the federal government is the responsibility of the states. And so this continues to be a challenge in the federalism space between who is responsible, the federal government or the state government. Or the people. You should watch the whole presentation. The speaker does not mention the people or mention any powers that the people have or should have in their own health system or in health care reform. A fundamental problem with our health care system is that ordinary people have no influence over decisions about it. People are penalized, people are incentivized, people are categorized, and they are counted, but people are not given the opportunity to influence decisions made about the health care system. <laughs> 